Hey guys, welcome back. It is currently, it's technically at least on the East Coast, July 7th, and the 30th anniversary has officially started. So we're over here right now. I literally just wanted to do a video, quick video. I don't know when this is going to actually go up. I'm going to try and get it up like tonight. Depends on how long it's going to take to render because I really don't know how long it's actually going to take me to record everything that I want to record and um, talk about what I want. But anyway, so let's like cut all that crap out. Uh, right now, login bonuses have happened. Uh, this happened earlier today. We have a whole bunch of cool stuff. So obviously, while well, I'm at 1027 for my cumulative and consecutive, I'm at 1022. Um, first, and well, for the anniversary login bonus, I got you. We get the uh, uh, SSR Hercule statue, the login bonus over here from the admin team. We have this new item over here, which we're going to talk about in a minute. The actual uh, uh, medals for the Baba Shop, which we'll also talk about. We have some Dragon Stones. We have the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And we're going to talk about something yet I do not want to see you guys do. Um, but we got that. We have the Redstone. Again, as per my other video that I had released on what you should select, we are getting one of these leads. So you don't have to worry about using the Beginner Pack if you purchased it for one of the OG leaders. We got 10 Elder Kai's, 33 Dragon Stones. Um, and then I just have some of my older stuff over here. So we're just going to go ahead in here and we're going to hit collect all. Uh, I want to get all this stuff in here. I have 80 stones now available. Um, we have a whole bunch to actually discuss. Oh, wow. I don't have enough for all my Elder Kai's. That's cool. Um, anyway, so um, we sold that. We're good. First things first, do not by any means, guys, don't use these Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. I don't care what your excuse is. Don't use these guys to increase the super attack of other, any other Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm going to tell you right now. This guy, he is a support unit, all right? Supreme Diamond raises his attack for three turns. Okay, that's cool. But he's Super Saiyan 3 category, attack and defense plus 33%. He is literally the, per well, I don't want to say the perfect. He is one of the perfect support units for a mono Super Saiyan 3 team or for a Super Saiyan 3 team if you happen to have the Bardock. Highly recommend, highly, highly recommend making sure you keep him. Don't can awaken him and use all the dupe pads on him because you're never going to get any more of these guys. He comes around once, okay? And that's all you see me doing on my screen right now. Literally, I'm going in here. I got him all maxed out. I got him to ultra rare. That's all there is to it. We're locking him up, and we're going to go do part of the dupe system. I don't want to see any of you guys using him to increase the super attack of any of the other um, uh, the other Gokus, all right? That's all there is to it. So here we go. There's that. And the whole reason behind it is because, again, he's one of a kind. You can't summon him anymore. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't think that, you know, giving him any max dupe system's worth it, but you never know. Who knows? Maybe for the fourth year, he gets a Doken Awaken. We get another set of them or something like that. Um, or just for nostalgia purposes, if one day you want to actually give him a Doken Awaken. You know I mean? You never know. But right now, all four dupe has unlocked. That's what I'm going to recommend you guys doing. If you want to increase the super attack of one of the Super Saiyan 3s, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, use Elder Kai's or something like that, all right? Please don't use that item. Um, anyway... Um, we're going to go over here into the menu item, the item menu over here. Um, we're going to look at the support items. And we're going to look at the uh, the new item over here for the Saiyan armor. Key plus four reduces damage received by 20%, which is cool, for all allies for three turns. Um, effect will weaken after the third anniversary period. So that's going to be kind of, kind of cool. Um, I kind of, I'm not going to actually do that. If it was HP regeneration, that would be awesome. I don't really know um, how what I'm going to use something like that, but it's pretty damn cool. Maybe for the LRs and stuff like that. Um, we go over here to the mission rewards, um, and I, I have not myself purchased the, the actual beginner pack. I don't think I'm going to. Um, you just go in here, Z Awaken a character, wish upon the Dragon Balls. There's a whole bunch of special mission rewards. Read through them and do it. Consumes 20 stamina. Clear Galaxy's Edge. That's the new Gohan event. Um, that that Now, make sure you get your Gohan 100%, and he will have an extreme Z Awakening soon. Um, I don't say you have to do it right away, but definitely focus on doing that. Um... Clear any stage three times, clear any Doken event, and you don't need to actually clear, like, the level 50, the 50 stamina stuff, or the 25 stamina stuff. Just go into one of the easy ones just to get that reward. Uh, clear all specified missions. Clear any story event once, two times. Perform a multi-summon on the friend summon. I heard some people were having problems with that. Clear any stage with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku on your team. That's any Super Saiyan 3 Goku on your team. That's for some friend points. Clear all stages of the event on Z hard. Level up a super attack. That means increase super attack from super attack 1 to 2. Uh, you could do that because you got the new cards um, over there, or you could just do it with uh, the Gohan that you're getting for free. Doken Waken a character, which we're going to have to look into how we're going to get that done on my, my account. I should be able to do it with some of my SRs. Activate 100% of characters hidden potential. That's going to be for the Gohan. Defeat Vegeta 10 times in the specific stage on the Fierce Battle event. Uh, recruit Hope of Go uh, Growth Gohan Kid. That just means get him. 
Clear stage using a battle suit, so just use a freaking battle suit on the go one of the Gohan stages. Uh, special condition, uh, at least one character in the Planet Namek Saga category on your team, which shouldn't be too hard. Bring like Piccolo or something like that. Consume 30 stamina, 500 stamina, 1000 stamina, uh, any Doken event. And there's just like a whole bunch of damn rewards, and there's just so much stuff in here. Galaxy's Edge reward, all this Galaxy's Edge reward stuff. Trade treasures for items. Um, 20 out of 33 missions. Like, we have so much in here. I'm not going to go over every single one of them because there's just way too much. I didn't realize there was actually this much in here to, to go through. But uh, pretty much it all comes down to if you go into the events over here and uh, go under the story, most of this is pretty much just going up in here and doing this. Uh, and there's a couple stages up in this. And this is where you're going to get your Gohan. Gohan's available on stage 1. Do stages 1 through 8 um, and get all the units that you can. Um, Gohans are going to be available on stage one, and I guess these are his mate awakening medals. Uh, you definitely want to go and get the stage eight uh, for all the potential system. You need to get him up to level one or 100% in the dupe system or in the potential system. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Then he Doken awakens, and at some point he will have an extreme awakening. So you could actually pretty much accomplish most of those rewards just by doing this. Um, and won't have any problems. Um, outside of that, we also have this other event once a day: Go Goku six days to Galaxy's Edge. Um, I don't even know what the hell this actually is supposed to be. Complete this event and get tons of rank experience. So I guess we're getting a whole bunch of rank experience in there. The event is only available on hard. You can join the event once a day. If you fail or quit during the event, you cannot join it again until the daily reset. Um, you, get, oh, you have a whole bunch of other items that you can get from, from doing this. Complete the daily mission reward to complete training items and team cost. And increase the team cost. Okay, cool. I like that. I like increasing team cost. I don't really need it right now. Um, so that's pretty damn awesome. Outside of that, I'm pretty sure that's really it. Um, yeah, that's really it as of right now for what's available. I mean, I will be doing my weekly grind video next Wednesday, uh, so that's going to be available. We have the active, the hidden potential events that are all active um, as of right now, one time a day. Make sure you do those. You want to take full advantage of them. Um, the Pan Adventure is currently available, so well, it just reset. Uh, Turtle School training, Hercule training, and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to be doing all this. I'm not going to be doing this with you guys right now. I'm exhausted, um, so that's what I have to say about that. Um, we also will be getting new sales, so the sales, they're not active right now, but they will be coming soon. Um, we have a whole bunch of awesome, awesome new sales. Uh, like, I, I think the one is, like, you get 50 Dragon Stones for the price of six. So, that's awesome. So, Celebration Part 1. Um, we already talked about the login bonuses you want to do, your daily missions. We kind of went through some of them. Special missions, we went through them. That has to do with the Gohan stuff. Go forth, Perunga, Facebook, like, and comment um, things. So go over to the Facebook, official Facebook, DBZ. Dokon Battle, I think it is. Um, super discounts is what I was talking about. Five stones at the price of one per day. So that's actually a really good one. 50 Dragon Stones for the price of six. 12 Dragon Stones for 80% off only once. 32 for 50% off only once. There will be two packs available for purchase during the third. One will be at the premium Dragon Stone. That's the purple one. When you purchase the 77 Stone Pack, that means you're going to get a 120 lead for free. Players will get 50 extra Dragon Stones upon purchasing the 100 Dragon Stone Pack, 150 Dragon Stones in total for six times you could do it. Um, if you haven't noticed, you also had a, we also had like a little video. Uh, it was kind of spoiled on the Reddit. I did not play it on my account or on my YouTube channel, uh, but there was a video that went live about the anniversary. It's the same thing that they did on the JP side. Um, recruit a character with premium Dragon Stone. That's the 120 liters. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Third anniversary, select characters, Dokun Festival, recruit a character with a God Dragon Stone. We're going to go into the Baba Shop and take a look and see what's available right now since I did get that. Um, God Dragon Stone 3 can be used to exchange one of the 12 third anniversary select characters. Okay, I didn't know there was 12 of them in there. Um, now, I'm going to go take a look at that, but yeah, that's that's pretty damn awesome. Um, I'm going gonna to do a separate video on that as well, so if you want to save your stone and wait for me to do that, um, I'll probably have that up, uh, honestly, probably on Sunday or Monday or something like that. It's going to take me some time. I'm kind of exhausted. It's uh, 12.30 in the morning right now, and uh, I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, long day at work. I'm still getting over the strep throat. Like, I'm not really bad right now, but I'm, I'm kind of tired. Um, I have a headache. I've been staring at a computer screen all day, and they served really greasy food at work. <laughs> so, like, I'm definitely not feeling 100% great. Um, Super Dragon Stone 3, obtained for the Super Thanks Pack, can be used to recruit a powerful character. We'll talk about that in a separate video as well. The Dragon Ball campaign about how you, you know, when I'm going to do a video like I did the JP side, how you actually get the rewards for the Purunga stuff that's going on. Um, we get a special friend summon for multi summons to get random bonus items. You have a chance to get Grand Kai's as well. So that's going to be awesome. We actually have a reason to use our damn friend points again. Um, fantastic deals at Baba Shop. So that's going to be awesome. They've already started with the discounts, hidden potential. All hidden potential weekly events are open. Um, open Friday through Sunday, it looks like it's going to be. Um, so that's awesome. 
uh, will be available from 1600 on Friday to yeah Sunday PST every week. So that's pretty damn awesome. Um, the dynamic stuff we already talked about. This event we already talked about. Boss Rush new stages added. So we're going to get some awesome Dragon Stones from that. Um, I will definitely be doing a video on that. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video, I feel like. Uh, maybe I'll do a live stream with you guys for that one. I know I've been getting a lot of requests for live stream. So when that goes live, it's going to supposed to go live tonight, actually. Um, so I'm probably going to end up doing it on Monday night if I do a live stream. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to have time to do it at all uh, for like for a video recording over the weekend because of my schedule. So um, I will probably do a live stream Monday night. I'll hang out. We'll drink some wine or some beer. Depends on what's going on. And I'll definitely do that. Uh, Dual Doe Confessed, as we already know what's going on there. Um, 300 hours. We got a special of um, three uh, super multi summon discounts. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll get some. Um, oh, into Doken Awakened Dalar. Okay, never mind. Maybe we'll have some special stuff like uh, tickets so you could summon on a separate banner, like the one that banner that's currently available. Uh, Legendary Super Saiyan. Chance to get. Oh, well, that's just normal stuff. Wish Pump Perunga Facebook campaign. Physical Elder Kai. So we have all the Elder Kai stuff over here. We might get a chance. Of all the freaking potential orbs that they got on the third anniversary on the JP side. Um, I will be definitely be doing one multi-summon on every single one of these because of all the damn orbs, potential orbs, that you guys get for summoning on these banners. So I'll be doing one of each, which is awesome. Um, stamina has been restored down to three minutes from five minutes for some of you guys who want to go and take full advantage of the rank experience increase that it's quadrupled, which is going to be started, which has started already, actually. Um, so that's actually really freaking awesome. Um, I will probably, once I finish up my Gohan, I will probably be going on and taking on the last, last, last stage on the hardest level to increase my rank. I don't really need to do that, but why the hell not? Um, and the success has been quadrupled, right? So actually, I probably didn't need to use my training item, but um, they, they quadrupled it in order for us to get better rates. Um, and 30% off Baba Shop. So again, I know a little bit long-winded, sorry guys, um, but that's everything that's going on right now. I'm super freaking hyped. Um, that's awesome. Uh, let's go take a look at the Baba Shop characters really quick before we end the video. And again, I will be doing a separate video on all of this. So, or at least on, the, on who to choose. So again, the original, the OG units over here. Um, if you're looking for the OG units, honestly, um, if you need an AoE, and this is just really quick before I do the full like overview of everything. But uh, if you need an AoE, as always, he also has an Extreme Z Awakening if you don't have any. Broly, really, really good. Uh, and then if not, it w I would probably say Super Saiyan 3 Goku because he has the most vi he's mostly viable because he is on the most teams, category teams. Uh, and then it would be split between Cell and Frieza, depending on how you're going to run it. Um, Cell does a lot of damage. He could out-damage Frieza, but Frieza does not lack when he gets his Extreme Z Awakening. He's already a primary unit on Monophysical Extreme Team, so um, you do have options there. Um, these three guys, I would not waste your money or your stone on. Uh, I would definitely wait until that comes around because you're going to be able to get one for free anyway. Um, I would don't get Beerus. Uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is actually really good. Uh, Janemba, Vegeta are really good. Um, and Boo, not so much. So it would either between Vegeta and Janemba for defensive purposes. They're both very, very good defensive purposes. Or Super Saiyan 3 Goku or AoE or Cell. Um, or Frieza, pretty much. So you have, what, four, five, six. You have six total of the 12 that are actually useful. And again, I will be doing a full overview on that. If you are waiting for that, I will have that open for you as fast as I possibly can. Um, but that's it, I believe. Um, oh, this is for the blue stone. So we do have the blue stone for one of the OG leads. Um, it pretty much all stands the same as the video I released last year. So um, I, I will just go a quick overview. I guess I'll do a small video on that and touch. Pretty much the only thing I'm going to say is I think the most viable one out of all these units right now is Super Vegito because he has a little bit different than his physical counterpart that has been, you know, redone. So I think he's going to be the most viable. Um, Buhan and Broly aren't really used that much, especially because they have, well, Broly has a counterpart, Omega has a counterpart, and their counterparts are, in my opinion, better than them too. Uh, Buhan doesn't have a counterpart, but he's only on like Majin Buu Saga category. Uh, or an intelligence kid boo team, which is very viable, but no one ever really runs him. And then you're left with like these two, which are both very, very good. But like the only thing that this guy has over the physical one is that he's technique. So if you're going up against a strength event, or if you're doing a mono technique team, that's the only time he's going to come into play. Super Vegito has a different passive than his other counterpart, and his passive, in my opinion, because of the damage reduction, is a little bit better. Uh, so they're interchangeable depending on how you're going to run them. So uh, that's why I still think he's the most viable one out of everyone here. And then we have the also the, the actual ticket. I did not purchase mine, um, but because I don't need to, actually. All my guys are 100%. Um, actually, my cell is, and I might purchase the ticket just so I can get cell. Um, 
yeah, because I think Cell Cell's the only one on here that's not 100% for me, but also the Goku too, so actually I, I have choices, I have options. But um, I'll do all that in a separate video, because I'm 15 minutes in here and I know you guys are probably bored listening to me dribble on. Um, let me know what you guys have chosen, if you already know what you've chosen. Um, I will definitely be back for more videos on this, and um, that's it guys, thank you for joining me today, and um, I'll catch you all in the comments, peace.